Welcome back to my Next.js course. In this video, we'll talk about navigation. Conventionally, you would use an anchor tag to create a link in a web app. You could do this in a next tab, and it will work, but you would miss out on multiple optimizations. To create a link properly in Next.js, you can use the link component. Link extends the anchor element and provides prefetching and client-side navigation between routes. To use it, we can import it from next link. Then we can use the component by passing an href prop to it, just like you would an anchor tag. If we test it now, you can see that it navigates me correctly to the appropriate route. The link component also accepts as props valid anchor tag attributes, like target or class name. In addition, link has two props that can be configured, replace and prefetch. Both are boolean. Replace is false by default. If set to true, it will replace the current history state instead of adding a new URL into the browser's history stack. Prefetch is true by default. Next, we'll prefetch the links when they become visible in the viewport, which happens when the page loads and on scroll. If you want to disable this behavior, you can do so by setting prefetch to false. If you have a very special use case, where you need to disable prefetch capabilities to limit the number of network requests, for example, you can do so using the prop. The href attribute of the link can also accept an object instead of a string. In this object, we can specify the path name and query parameters. The object can also contain every property of the Node.js URL module. You can explore all of the available properties in the Node.js documentation, which is linked in the description. Frequently in a web app, you also need to be able to navigate the user programmatically to another route. For example, let's say we want to navigate the user to another route after waiting for one second. I'll add a button with a click event on it. In the click handler, we'll wait for a second with a set timeout. To achieve this, Next offers the use router hook. You can import it from Next Navigation and get a router object using the hook. To navigate the user to a different route, you can use the router push method. It's important that we now have a client-side event, and we need to make this a client-side component. If I click my button now, you can see that after a second, I get navigated to my route. This is a simplified example, but a common use case for navigating a user to another route programmatically is when you submit a form to a server-side API. After the API responds that the form data has been submitted successfully, you would frequently want to redirect the user to another route. The router has other methods as well. The replace method will also navigate the user to another route without pushing a new entry to the browser's history stack. You can also refresh the current route and fetch new data from the server. This does not reset state like scroll position. There are also back and forward methods which will go to the previous and next page in the browser history. Let's now talk about some benefits of using link and use router and how navigation works in Next.js. The Next.js router supports client-side caching of server-side components. This means that in some cases, the router can reuse the cached components instead of making a new request to the server. This improves performance by limiting the number of network requests to the server. Another feature is prefetching. I already mentioned that links are automatically prefetched when they enter the viewport. When using the user router hook, you can also programmatically prefetch the route to which you plan to eventually programmatically navigate by using the router prefetch method. All these optimizations together mean that when users navigate your app, the routes are quickly rendered without re-rendering components unnecessarily. This wraps it for today's video. We covered the fundamentals of navigation in Next.js. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified when the next video in the series is released. Take care.